Hey, in this video we're going to be talking about the, the radix, or R, number, system. But before we get into radix notation, I want to talk a little bit about the base notation. Um, let's say we have two numbers, 110 written in base 10 and 110 written in binary. You know, how do we know which one of these is binary and which one is in base 10? <clears throat> and we know this because uh, base notation, we put parentheses around the number and then put in subscript the base it is in. So if we wanted this one to be base 2, we would write 2. So now we know this is 110 in base 10. 10 and we know this one's 110 in base 2. So now that we got base notation out of the way, let's move on to radix. Um, so the first concept in radix is the radix point. So let's write a number 321.27. It doesn't matter what base it is, this could be base 2, 10, 5. But the radix point is a fancy way of saying where the decimal point is located in this number. So this decimal point is the radix point. So this is, that's one concept. Another concept is the radix of a number. And like radix point, that's just a fancy way of saying um, the base of a number. So the radix is equivalent to base. So if we have a base 10, so if our base is equal to our 10, our radix is equal to 10. Now that we have radix point, radix, there's one more concept related, which is the radix form of a number. So what the radix form lets us do is take a number like, let's say, 221. Uh, 221 and say base 3 and we can figure out what that number is equal to in base 10. Now to do this we simply take the number and we spread it out a little. We find the radix point which in this case is right here. Um, this is where the decimal place is. We could put 0, 0 but it doesn't really matter. And when we count this, we start here with zero to the left of the radix point. So these are going to be our places. So we know this is zero, this one's going to be one, and this one's going to be two. And as we count to the right, we're going to go down, and as we count to the left, we're going to go up. So we go right one, and we end up with negative one, negative two. So to write this number in radix notation is pretty simple. We simply start with the number here, bring it down, we end up with 2, and then we multiply this times our base of 3, and we take this value, the place, and we put that in the superscript, so we end up with 3 squared. And then we, that's one term. And we do that for each digit. We do the same thing. So we go back. Let's take um, sorry two. Let's take two. Bring it down here. Two times our base. Our base is never gonna change. This number multiplied will never change. So three, and then we're gonna take um, our place. Bring it down here. And we're going to do this for every number, so I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest. 1 times 3 to the 0. 
and then all these are these two numbers are just zero, so we can um, essentially ignore them because they're going to end up being zero. Uh, the term will end up being zero because we'll end up with plus zero times you know something plus zero times something, which is going to be zero. So when we add this, we end up with two times nine plus two times three plus one times one. If we add that all together, we get 18 plus 18 plus six plus one, which is equal to uh, 25. So to answer our original question, 221 base three is equal to 25. So let's move on to a slightly more complicated example. So let's do the number. Let's do the number four twenty one, and we'll add a decimal place to this one. We'll say point uh, four, and this will be in base five. So 421.4 in base 5 is equal to what in base 10? So let's break the number up. 4, 2, 1, 4. Put the radix point in. And now label the places of each of these numbers. So we'll start at 0, 1, 2, negative 1. So then we're going to start on the left side. We'll take this number bring it down 4 times our base, which in this case is 5, to this number here. Bring that out. And we'll keep doing that for each digit. So this one's 2 times our base, 5, times our place, 1, plus 1, times our base, 5, plus our place, 0, plus 4, times our base, 5, times replace 1. So what we end up with is 4 times 25 plus 2 times 5 plus 1 times 1 plus 4 times and then 5 to the negative first is equal to 1 over 5. You can simply take out the negative sign and put whatever is, um, you know, here into the bottom. <clears throat> so if this was actually 5, negative 2, we could write that as 1 over 5 squared. So this one's going to be 1 over 5, which is going to be equal to 100 plus 10 plus 1 plus uh, 4 fifths, or 111 and 4 fifths and base 10. So that is our notation. Remember we have three concepts. We have the radix point which is equal to the decimal uh, location. We have radix which means the base and its notation which looks something like A times the base times where you are plus B times this big B times B times N minus 1 and you keep going on and on and on until you've covered all values. That's the formal mathematical notation that we were describing above.